Hey there, if you find yourself feeling empty, it's as if whatever was within you is all gone. You're hollow and there's nothing and no matter how much you try to feel again, nothing is coming out. Well, this episode is for you and I hope it helps. I hope it explains and describes accurately what it is that you're going through. I also hope that you find solace in it and understanding and companionship. I hope you enjoy and I'm here with you. Oftentimes I've thought about what would you do if you didn't have doubt in your heart and if you were more confident, if you were someone who doesn't hesitate and question themselves all the time. Now, even in that hypothetical situation, it is not easy to just stop these things, the hesitation, the doubt, and to out of nowhere bring the confidence to act out and do the things that you would want to do. There are a lot of other factors that affect you, one of which is your environment and the way it interacts with you. There are times when you and the way you feel isn't it isn't because you doubt yourself or you're not confident enough that you don't find the desire or the motive to act out and do the things that you would wish to do. Sometimes it's the way things just don't interact positively with you or perhaps to an extent even worse they don't interact with you at all. Now, what does that mean? When I think about it, imagine you want to do something that you enjoy, but when you're doing it, there is no outcome, there is no reaction, and it's as if you're hitting a wall, there is no expression that comes out of it. Sure, as long as you enjoy it, that is good enough. But I'm not talking about things that you would just do and there is joy that comes out of the action itself. No, I'm talking about things where I'm talking about things where you would put in the work and put in the effort and there is nothing. An example is, let's say you go out shopping for new clothes and you buy the new clothes and they don't make you feel anything new. You don't even feel good about yourself. Now, you wouldn't be encouraged personally within yourself. You wouldn't feel encouraged to wear those clothes. Another example is, let's say you go exercise and you want your goal is to get fit or to get healthier but that doesn't happen you work out and there is no uh, result there is no you don't feel any closer after the workout than you did before it then you wouldn't do it again but obviously that doesn't happen. When you work out, you do get healthier. Now, when I think about it, imagine two different situations. When you do one thing and there is interaction and there is friction, you find yourself leaning towards doing it again and again because it's engaging. While if you were to do something and there was no interaction, there was no engagement, you would feel like, what's the point? Why am I doing this? Nothing is coming out of it. And it's that that I'm talking about. The lack of 
friction, the lack of interaction, the, the lack of a sensation that there is a gauge for me to tell whether or not I'm doing good or bad or mediocrely or excellently. Perhaps when I think about it, a clear example is when you're playing tennis or um, you know that, um, I forgot the name of it, but there's this tennis where you play against a wall. So you hit the ball and it bounces back to you and you hit it again and it bounces back. Or when you're playing against someone else and you know, you're trying to score, but they're trying to interact with you and they they're trying to defend their goal while trying to score against you so there is a back and forth when you're throwing the ball imagine playing against nothing neither a wall which in in, in the tennis example it would bounce the ball back to you or against someone else so you're you're hitting the ball and it just goes and you're getting another ball and you're hitting it and there's nothing. It's as if there's something missing. Perhaps a lot of examples fit into this. Playing basketball without a basket. Playing football without any, any, any way to bounce the ball back or a goal to shoot at. Now, this missing element the interaction, when it's not there in small increments, that is fine. You can still keep going, even if there's no feedback. So you can go in a broken loop because one of the elements in this loop is missing, the feedback. But if it keeps going for so long, and if it keeps going with everything that you do there is no feedback there is no interaction you slowly find yourself spiraling towards indifference and emptiness because you start questioning why am i doing any of this i don't know what i'm doing is it good is it bad am, am i doing anything and that feeling is it's lonely, it's secluded, and it's, it's empty. Now, seclusion in itself or spending time alone, those are not bad by themselves. You as a human being, you do need a social element. It's part of how you are as a person. And a lot of things in your life can be okay without a feedback loop some of them are like listening to music reading books watching tv shows or you know uh, consuming uh, even eating now you don't need a feedback loop because you're just consuming so you're reading you're you're listening you're watching and you're enjoying or learning or absorbing so there is no there is nothing missing in that um, loop let's call it but when it comes to the expression uh, practices when it comes to exercising acting talking doing creating writing when there's no interaction, it feels empty. It's as if you're throwing into the darkness and you don't know what's going to happen. And, you, and when, when nothing happens, even though you do it often and you do it again and again, when nothing happens, you start wondering, what, why am I doing this? What's the point? A minor, a minor counter argument would be, I'm doing it because I like it. I'm doing it because I enjoy it. But again, something essential 
is missing. And that essential thing is allowing you to have the capacity to tell how well you're doing. It's allowing you to, it's, it's blessing you with a community that interacts with you. And perhaps this is more so on the creative side, when you are a creative person, uh, doing creative endeavors, you're, you're trying to express your creativity. And there is that missing thing. Sometimes you're okay with it. But it's only when you do it to express yourself. And that's it. You feel a certain way you want to write it, you want to draw, you want to express it. Sometimes imagine, imagine someone who's very passionate and very expressive and they have a bucket of paint and, and they just splatter it into the wall and they create something. Now that in itself, that's fine. It's not, it doesn't need a feedback loop. But eventually, when it keeps happening and there is no feedback loop, something starts to be noticeable that it's missing. So it's, it's not like you express your creativity to have feedback or to have a community to communicate with. But when that is completely missing, you start to notice just how empty it is. So one example comes to mind when I was at the gym and I was working out, um, there were a group of people that I haven't seen before, and they were doing exactly the same exercises that I was doing. And even though none of us talked to each other, none of us communicated just the fact that we were in the same environment doing similar things there was an unspoken communication it's i i, I was getting this feeling that hey there's there's a healthy competition going on i'm, I'm i want to do better because those people they can gauge me and I, I kind of sensed a few glances from them when I was working out. So none of us talked to each other, but there was unspoken but sensible communication. So it's that feedback loop that I'm talking about. When you have, when you have a way to communicate in what matters to you, a way to express and have something come back to you. Because here's the thing, it isn't just about you creating something and people telling you what they think about it. It's, it's more deeper and sometimes more complex than that. Communication isn't just about actual commenting and interacting with your work directly. Sometimes it's in the way you touch people and they touch you. It's in the way you, your souls connect. It's in the way you interact, even if you don't even talk to each other. Even in the example of the gym, when I was working out and those other guys were doing similar exercises, we weren't talking, we weren't communicating per se, but we recognized each other and and even though probably each one of us would have worked out similarly if no one was there, having someone else or several people do things that relate to what you're doing, it kind of gives you a push. It kind, it kind of gives you a reason to do better because you, you feel a, a, a level of rivalry. You feel a level of being challenged to do better because there are others who can gauge you. But what would you do when that feedback loop is missing? 
Well, that's that's a question to to be answered. But I will say this: if you're someone who's out there going through these things, feeling a sense of loneliness, even though there are people around you, know that even though there is no interaction or communication going on in your life that gives you this sense of the sense of purpose the sense of value know that i get you and you're not alone thank you for listening remember to like subscribe and hit the bell if you like this episode Take care and I'll talk to you next time.